Hello everyone, I am Neharika John Mehra, your educator at An Academy. Currently, we are doing the course Changing Active into Passive Voice. We have already completed formats on basis of which we can change the sentences from active to passive in different tenses. Now we are doing practice set and this is exercise number 2 for today. We are going to have couple of sentences as questions and you will be given time to solve it, change it into passive voice and after that you can check your answers with the solutions given in the same lesson. Coming on to a little bit about me, I am a mass communication graduate and currently doing post graduation in MA English Literature. I am also an English trainer at an academy and a freelance personality development trainer. For all my lessons and courses, you can follow me right here on this link and you can also go and click on the follow button which is below the video so that you will be updated with all of my upcoming lessons at an academy coming on to the first six questions these sentences are in active voice you have to analyze the sentence check that the sentence is in which tense keep the tense same don't change the tense and convert it into passive voice you can uh, see the combination of verbs that will help you in knowing which tense it is in. Now, first sentence is, who did the job? Will she sing a song? Why are you washing the car? I was teaching the new lesson. The master punished him for speaking in class. Will not a sense of duty persuade him to work harder? So these are six first six sentences. Kindly pause the video and note it down and then you can move ahead for next six sentences. Next six sentences are like so. Do you know the health minister? The teacher was reading out the questions aloud. People believe him to be the culprit who had plugged all the flowers. Do you eat fruits every morning? Why have they not paid for the tickets? So these were the 12 sentences. Now kindly pause, finish the exercise. Take your own sweet time when you do this. Then you can unpause the video and go ahead to check your solutions. Now let's come on to the solutions. First sentence was who did the job? So it's a sentence with no doer. We are asking question so that we can know the name of the person who has done the action. Here we have did. This word is telling us that we have made this sentence in simple past tense. It will be converted as by whom was the job done? Will she sing a song? Again, let's focus upon helping verb and main verb. Will is talking about future. After will, we are getting verb in first form. This combination is used in simple future tense. So, it will be changed as will a song be sung by her. Then we see why are you washing the car? Here we have again an interrogative sentence. That is why the first word why will remain same. Then we have R and our verb is in ing form. So what we see here is R plus ing form of verb is telling this sentence is in present continuous tense. Sentence will be changed as why is the car being washed by you? Next we have I was teaching the new lesson. Again, let's check on with uh, the helping verb was then teaching ing form of verb it will be changed to the new lesson was being taught by me the master punished him for speaking in class now here we see the main verb is punished don't get confused in speaking speaking is a gerund over here because for is there before it now the master punished him for speaking in class the first verb of the sentence which is after the doer is punished 
which is in second form so the sentence will be like so he was punished by the master for speaking in class will not a sense of duty persuade him to work harder so will he not be persuaded to work harder by a sense of duty now we see here that persuade is uh, in first form this is the main verb and the sentence is starting with will so only the changes will be made in verb portion and of course him will become he because we are changing this uh, sentence from active to passive next we see do you know the health minister do is used uh, in interrogative sentence in simple present tense no again giving us hint of simple present tense it is the first form of verb it will be changed as is the health minister known by you the teacher was reading out the questions aloud so the one who is doing the action is teacher after it we are using helping verb was and after that verb ing form so this will tell us that now we have the sentence in past continuous tense it will be changed as the questions were being read out allowed by the teacher now read a word is the first form of verb it is written as same the spelling remains same but the pronunciation of second and third form of read is read ninth one people believe him to be the culprit now believe is the main verb over here which is in first form it will be changed to he is believed by people to be the culprit next we have who had plucked all the flowers it starts with who a sentence where we are asking for the doer followed by had plus plucked which is third form of pluck so with has have had we always have third form of verb so don't get confused between second form and third form now had plus plugged gives us the information that this sentence is in past perfect tense it will be changed as by whom had the flowers been plucked then we have do you eat fruits every morning it's do and eat both of them are found in simple present tense so our passive voice will be in accordance are fruits eaten by you every morning and the last one is why have they not paid for tickets so it starts with why an interrogative sentence it is having how and then we are having paid so paid is the third form of pay and uh, it is the sentence is in present perfect tense so it will become as why have the tickets not been paid by them in this manner these were the solutions i hope you might have done well and if there is any error i would suggest keep practicing it keep practicing the formats and definitely it will be extremely helpful for you thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned for more lessons and please don't forget to rate review recommend and share